Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. In the last part, we found a new horse, which was amazing. We, of course, got a pale horse named Death, which uh, I am extremely happy about. Anyway, we've got a few things. Oh, hang on. Of course, uh, the undead won't be able to pull us off this horse, because as soon as they touch it, they, uh, well, you know, um, die, which is fantastic for us. So I am very, very happy. Now, what I was thinking we possibly should do... We can't really do that with this horse, because, you know, it will kill them. Uh, but what we can do... What we can do is go to Mexico and uh, try and find one of each. And that way, we can get all of the horses, which we can swap out on the fly. And guys, you can imagine how much easier... Well, no, not really easy. Easy is the wrong word. Um, how much... Uh, uh, would easy work? I mean, I guess easier our life would be. I think more convenient um, is the better, the better term. Because, of course, a horse is just a horse. Uh, but the idea of being able to swap between all of them is really nice. Uh, and we'll be able to have war back, and war is my favourite. However, there's no real point in using anything other than death, I suppose. Apart from for the aforementioned uh, reason, you know, of not being able to uh, use him for this particular trick. So let's go travel back to Mexico. Well, we should... Oh, my God. He's going to make, make taking over towns a lot easier as well. Because the horse... Yes, actually, that's probably the best way to complete this task. Let's go take over some towns. Or save some towns, really. I guess uh, we don't want to go to Armadillo. We want to go to Las Hernandez. And we're going to take our little horse buddy for a little bit of a run. Going to take Pinky for a run. Pinky is uh, the name of Death's horse in Discworld. Pacific Union is uh, under attack. Uh, really? Really? Notice it's under attack. It's not overrun. Um, uh, well, that's awkward. Let. God damn it. Let's go back to... Pacific Union and uh, save that place. Now, I guess the silver lining is hopefully there's a few different types of enemies there. We might be able to get most of them in one stretch. So it's not going to be a complete loss. Also, I, I'm hoping this video is going to come out okay. I This video is a test. Uh, I'm recording at quite a high bitrate at the moment. I'm also <laughs> rendering a video on my computer uh, at the same time. So, if this video doesn't come out very well, well, yeah, there's not really a great deal I can do about it. It is, um, it is what it is, unfortunately. Uh, I have done a 10 minute test recording whilst I was rendering, and that came out absolutely fine. So, it should be fine. I hope. And I've increased the bitrate by quite a bit as well, because I'm still not happy with the picture quality. It's, it's very blurry. I'm just starting to think that that's OBS. Uh, when I, I can't remember what program I used to record with. Shadow Play, and that was damn near lossless. Um, and that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to sleep, did I? I wanted to travel to the army camp. Right, let's try that again. Um, travel to destination. Yeah, I didn't realise, actually, if you didn't bother with these camps for ages, they do get overrun. And... Um, because when they're under attack, the icon goes green. When they're overrun, the icon goes red. <laughs> and when they're overrun, uh, people will start dying. Which is a little bit of a pain. Uh, Death, where are you at, buddy? There you are. Oh, you can really see his wind now. That's cool. Like a ghostly wind. We're now a ghost rider. Um... Right, so we need to save this place. Okay. Come on, death. Let's show these fuckers who the real monsters are around here. 
Wow. There we go. This should be so much easier with these guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Town safety, we've already done a significant portion. Okay, she didn't actually die. Do we have to hit them at uh, a certain speed? Yeah, okay, we do actually have to hit them at a certain speed, which is a little bit awkward. No, why are you going up there? Don't go up there. Okay, in that case, we are going to go back to our original plan. We're just going to kill all of these guys with tomahawks. For now. You don't really have a lot of space to run around in this one. It's not good for our horse friend. Also, it looks like it's just the standard zombies here. Which is no good. Although, it does kind of work in the lore of the game. Because, of course, they said, uh, well, they've implied that Mexico is in a lot worse shape than New Austin. Which, you can see by the by the very standard zombies in New Austin. Um, buddy, what, uh, sir, uh, why did you put, yeah, that's another bug. You see, even though we've selected our tomahawk, he won't get it out. Uh, we have to select another weapon and then reselect the tomahawk. Which wouldn't be like much of an issue apart from the fact the game doesn't pause when you're trying to select weapons. Which is silly. Ian. Right, now we just gotta finish off the rest of these face munchers. And our job is done. And we are once again a hero of the people. The mightiest hero of the people. John is just a man that gets shit done. Now I hope death hasn't been killed. You would have thought death would be the hardest of the horses to kill, you know, owing to the fact that he is death himself. Uh, essentially. Oh, I've also picked up the Darksiders games. And I've always wanted to play the Darksiders. I've had Darksiders 2 for ages. Like, I don't know five years um, but I've just picked up Darksiders uh, 1 as well I've got the remastered di edition on the PlayStation 4 which I'm actually kind of really looking forward to playing I think I've got them both on the PlayStation 4 right now let's fast travel back down don't really care about the item boxes they're not that useful my only worry is that we're gonna have towns yes these bastards did Kill your wife. Yes, I, I, I'm sorry for your loss, my friend. Although, if I'm being honest, I don't really care. Anyway, we've lost our son and our wife. So, bear that in mind. Uh, we want to travel to destination. And we want to go to anywhere, basically. Where do we want those? Uh, we want that one. Las Hernandez. At least I think that's what it's called. Las Hernandez. Los Hernandez. At least that's what it's called now, goddammit. Now. And now we're in Zombieville, which is what we're going to call Mexico. Because that's fairly apt. We should have a much better. Yeah, we'll go save this place. Have a much better chance of getting all versions of the undead. Because all versions of the undead seem to spawn in the wilderness. Which is uh, actually really nice for this challenge. Whereas, as we've mentioned before, um, in New Austin and New Elizabeth, you just get the generic normal zombies. Which, which is fine. It just doesn't help our cause very much. So, what have we got up here? Let's go. And uh, this is going to be one of the most useful challenges to complete, of course. Right, you're dead. So, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? That's two of the undeads. Done. Let's go. We just need a charger and one of those scrambler guys. Which isn't too bad. 
I mean, you're just a standard. Come on. Come on. You're a charger. There we go. Let's have a look. Is that progressing as well as I... Ah, it is as well. Yes. Now we... Sh now we just need the scrambler. You're a dog. Don't really want to kill a dog because that makes me feel bad. Right, the leader of the organization has just bit the farm, which is a little bit awkward. Uh-oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Things are going badly, as they generally do. Oh, there, there's a scrambler. There's a scrambler. Come on, horsey. Come on. Death, come to me, buddy. Oh god. John, what are you doing? Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, that was super sketch. Right, okay, where was the scrambler bastard? Oh, there we go, we've done it. Blood Pack War. Excellent. Blood Pack Pestilence. Nice. And Blood Pack for Famine. And now we've got the legendary for that. Sweet. Right, uh, the town safety is not going that well, actually. Which is a little bit problematic. Um, but it's okay. I have faith. I always have faith. Run. Let's generate some of that health. There we go. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Things are going from bad to worse. As they generally do. Come on. There we go. Chop to your neck. Yeah, run. Damn it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yes. Death. Thanks, Death. You actually kind of helped us there a little bit. Right. Nice. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think there's too many people left to save in this town. But that's neither here nor there. Okay. One left. That actually wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be to get all of our, our horses. However... That is extremely random. Um, so what do we get for that? Revolver ammo. That's interesting. I don't think we're really... Yeah, we're not really getting any new weapons, sadly. Okay, so what we can do now... Now we will have... Uh, wrong one. Let's go for pestilence. Let's get famine. Let's get Dave back. Right, now we've got Dave back, we can go hunt the cougars. Now, do we have any other... Oh, what's our completion up to? 70%, nice. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, so we still need to do that one and kill one of each of the four undead types in one dead eye meter. That is... That is going to be hard. Because we need to get all four in one... Okay, well, maybe that's not going to be as hard as I'm thinking it's going to be. And also, that unlocks holy water, which is interesting. I'm assuming Holy Water is an extremely powerful uh, item. Right, so we need to go to... And we don't have to worry about keep uh, despawning our horse either. So we can go to Tumbleweed. No, this isn't the right place. We need to go to Tall Trees. Um, so we can go to... Manzanita. Manzanita will do. If that's how you say it. It may be how you say it. It may not be. I care not. Either way. So. Oh. I cannot believe actually we got all of the all of the war horses. Horses of the apocalypse. I'm really happy about that. 
Come on. Come on, Dave. Let's go. Can't remember what we called war. Can he remember what war was called? Right, now, let's go find ourselves some cougars. Which were up here somewhere. This game definitely gets easier as you go on, because you get more powerful, which, you know, makes sense. That's the way games generally, generally work. Although I really wish they would, they added a zombie mode to GTA. I mean the actual campaign, not online. I don't really care much for GTA Online. I had my fun with it. It was it, it was fun for a few hours, but oh, notice death is a famine is running out of stamina. Um, what? Why does what? Why does famine have limited stamina? Is that that's got to be a bug? Well, throw it on the pile, I suppose. I guess the biggest uh, thing was just getting them for their abilities. Although it was really nice having Uh, having the unlimited stamina. Maybe if we resummon death, which we will do once this quest line is done. Or this challenge, I should say. Uh, maybe. Oh man, if he doesn't have unlimited stamina either. You know, I'm starting to be <laughs> incredibly surprised how buggy this game is. Oh. Now. No, his stamina is going down. Just. Oh, I don't know. Okay, that's. Weird and annoying. Definitely shouldn't happen like that. Right, we're not going to go into the water because we'll die. I'm sure the cougars were here somewhere. I'm just going to have to run around until they turn up. Luckily, once you find one cougar, you generally find uh, two or three. It's kind of like when you used to find um, cars in the old GTA games, like one, uh, GTA 3, um, Vice City, and San Andreas. Let's go. Once you found like one type of car, they would infinitely spawn that car, because <clears throat> cars loaded into the memory in certain sets. Kind of tonic. Okay, that's kind of how um, this game feels. like the way it loads animals into the environment. It seems to load them in packs. Um, that might not be true, that might just be the way it seems. I know in, uh, of course, the main game, uh, animals appeared in certain areas. Hello. Oh. Uh... I don't really get anything for it, but go on. All right, jump on. It ain't safe out here. I suppose we can do. I mean, in all fairness, it's not that far away. We're gonna have to reload the game anyway because the game's glitching out. Because, of course, it is. To be to its credit, we haven't really had any serious glitches for a few videos now. Oh, also, we don't have to worry about our horses dying either, which is nice. If our horses die, we can just summon them again, uh, like any horse. Whoa! Oh yeah, the whole stamina thing is broken. I remember. Need to uh, remember that. Right, I don't know how safe you're going to be here, lady. This looks like a... Out of all the towns we've liberated, this is probably the least safe. I, won't forget you. I'll give you a I really want a quickie. I would rather have uh, a couple of cougars, you know. You filthy lady, offering strangers quickies. Although, that's kind of interesting. Why is she offering us a quickie? We saved her life, and she's offering us the cheapest thing on her menu. Although, maybe head was the cheap. Why are we talking about this kind of stuff? I don't know. My mind wanders. 
They say it happens in the autumn years. Um, okay. Come on. Come on. If I was a cougar, I would be looking for young boys. But if I was an actual undead cougar, I would be around here somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to look up the origin of calling uh, experienced ladies looking for young young chaps, cougars. Oh, that's a bear. Don't need a bear. Remember how hard it was to find a bear? And now they're like everywhere. Now we don't need them. They're spawning out the ass. That's a boar. Boars are completely no good. And it looks like the game is proper bugging out as well. As in, I think some of those guys shooting were meant to be zombies. Which is a little bit awkward. You didn't want to have to do what, buddy? Are you meant to be a zombie? Wow, you're totally bugged out. Your arms and everything have disappeared. Oh, boy. You know what? This might actually interfere with how... Yeah, this might interfere with how uh, animals spawn. I'm from the bug list that I've read. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, that was a cougar. Easy. That was a cougar. <laughs> Where are we on the map precisely? We're there. All right, let's go back and save the game and then load the game just to reset all of the bugs oh god <sighs> restart near town well that's going to make it easier i guess to restart and load bugs i suppose now uh, if we reload it as well this will give us a good indicator to us as to whether our horse will now have unlimited stamina or not. I'm assuming that was a bug. I hope it's a bug. I have heard there are certain combinations of um, things that can happen in the game that will cause the, get, uh, the horses to lose their regenerating stamina uh, or their unlimited stamina, one of which is feeding them horse pills. However, I don't know if that is a reversible bug. I mean, if it isn't, it's not the end of the world, but... It's it's annoying. Right, let's save. That will actually cause the the daytime, well, the time to advance as well. Let's save there. Okay, and then we've got to load the game. Load the game will clear all of the bugs. Yes. Now, how long have we been recorded for? I don't know where my timepiece has gone. One of the cats has probably knocked it somewhere. We've got like seven minutes left. Okay. Now, all of the bugs should uh, should have been reset. Shovels for 25 cents? That's a bargain. I'll take about a thousand, please. Right, now, let's see if uh, Dave here... Oh, that's interesting. If you remember, Dave didn't have his... Dave didn't have his uh, locust following him last time. Yep, now his stamina has gone back to being unlimited. So, yeah, that must be just one of the bugs once the game starts cascading into uh, failure. That is one of the bugs, I guess. But, happy days, it is a reversible one. Now, let's go cougar hunting. Maybe to hunt a cougar, we should just find some young boys. Not too young. Nothing illegal here. Get your minds out of the gutter, for God's sakes. Just young boys. Young men, I should say. Yes, let's clear up any confusion by saying young men. Now, the good thing about the cougars is they have a very distinctive growl. Not that that's really helping us 
right now. Now, I'm not sure if cougars are nocturnal. Being cats, I would assume they are. And I don't know if that actually matters in this game either. Would be pretty damn cool if it did. Okay. Come on, you cougar bastards. At least there isn't really a penalty for dying in this game. Like, it, it doesn't really matter that much. So that's cool. Can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. But, you know, it, it, it's not like Borderlands where if you keep dying, you keep losing tons and tons of money. Especially for bullshit reasons. Okay. Where are cougar? Ah, see that... I'm sure that's a cougar. I'm sure it is. It's, I mean, that's a wolf. Could be a coyote. I'm trying to think on the map, what would a coyote be? They're just kind of weird blurry splodges. When you zoom in to have a bigger look, they, a better look, they disappear. Let's go down there. I've only got a few minutes of this video left. What I'll do, if this is unsuccessful, I will find some off... Oh, God. Okay. There's a couple of undead there. Yeah, if I can't find them, I will find them off camera. And then start recording when I found them again. I would not like to join you and your family, sir. If I sat down with you, I'd shoot you in the face. And we have a beautiful moon tonight. A very beautiful moon. Now, I'm pretty sure the cougars do appear in this kind of area here. Well, they should do anyway. There's a picture of them on the map. However, I don't know if that is kind of a, a kind of a holdout uh, from the the original map, maybe. Right. Let me just grab that. Go cougar hunting. Ah, okay. Come on, you stinking cat. Where are you? I mean, it's possible. I mean, it seems like the animals actually are much, much rarer. Which kind of makes sense, you know, with them all being like dead and stuff. But still... Frustrating nonetheless. Although I wonder if they'd be too close to the Yeah, I mean I mean that's definitely a cougar. Hmm. At least I say that's definitely a cougar, I'm not hundred percent sure. You are the law, my friend. There you go. I have saved you, my friend. You're welcome. Ah. Is there a cougar there? No, they're coyotes. Ah, bugger. Maybe it's coyotes here, then. Yeah, maybe they're coyotes. That's unfortunate. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Okay, in that case, guys, I'm going to head back up to here. And when I return, hopefully I would have found them.
Um, so thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time. <laughs>